Hi, this is Jack Spierko with MarketingIce.com. Today we're going to give you a really short video on installing a uh, Mozilla Firefox extension called Grease Monkey. Now, Grease Monkey doesn't do a whole lot in of itself. It enables you to install other scripts which change the behavior of a web page. Uh, so this is going to be a real short, real brief video. But what I did is I I made sure that I'm going to get a security warning. So this is going to help you whenever you're installing any extension into Mozilla Firefox if Firefox is new to you. Now, if you haven't installed Firefox, what I need you to do is go ahead and view the lesson on how to install Firefox and get the Firefox browser installed before you go any further. A lot of our lessons rely on the use of the Firefox browser. We firmly believe if you're an internet marketer, you really have no business day to day using other, any browser other than Firefox, so go get Firefox right away. Now, where you need to go is to a website that is greasemonkey.mozdev.org, and I'll spell it out for you. It's greasemonkey, G-R-E-A-S-E-M-O-N-K-E-Y dot mozdev, and mozdev is M-O-Z-D-E-V dot org. So I'm going to go there now. Just to make sure you got it, again, it's Grease Monkey, right? You can see it here, dot mozdev.org, and you'll end up on this page. And it's pretty simple. It says, get Firefox, install Grease Monkey. That's what we're going to do here. Uh, next lesson is going to teach you how to use Grease Monkey, and we're going to show you a useful script. So that'll get the rest of it knocked out. All I'm going to do now is go ahead and click on install Grease Monkey. Now, I made sure that this security warning was going to come up. I disabled uh, or removed uh, greasemonkey.bossdev.org from my approved sites. Because the first time you use Firefox and go to install any kind of extension into it, you're going to see this warning come up. And what this does is this protects you. This is part of why Firefox is so secure. Before any software can be installed through the Firefox browser, you have to approve it. So when you see this warning come up, whenever you click on something, you'll click on Edit Options. And now I can see the address of the website that's trying to download something to my computer. And it is what I expect it to be. It is greasemonkey.mozdev.org. So I'm going to say allow it. And you can see other sites that I've allowed in the past. Once I've done that, I'm going to say close. Now I can go ahead and click on it again. And this time, I won't get the security warning. My little box will pop up for installation. I'll say install now. That was it. I've just installed Grease Monkey. It's a very light application. I'm going to close my little box, but it said I had to restart Mozilla, so I'm going to close Mozilla, and I'm going to go open it back up, and it'll take just a little bit to restart. And now you can see that I've restarted my browser. Now, how do I know I've successfully installed Grease Monkey? Let me reduce this window a little bit to make sure that you can see what I'm doing here. And you'll see right here at the bottom of my browser, a little monkey. He is the Grease Monkey. So I know that I've successfully installed Grease Monkey. That's it for this lesson. Next lesson you need to look at is installing Technorati tags. Uh, in, uh, uh, the Grease Monkey extension for Technorati tags. Uh, uh, so you can do Technorati tagging with your blog or blog.